guys welcome back uh, so in this video i will show you how to set up your calendly uh, software for uh, scheduling your calls so that people can actually uh, schedule time uh, to have a strategy call to have a free call with you so if you are into coaching or consultation business i would strongly suggest you to you not to sell the coaching or consultation service directly uh, especially if it is a medium ticket or high ticket uh, service uh, I would I would suggest you go for a call, like ask them to schedule a free strategy call. And on the strategy call, what you do is you figure out, you tell them what is the real problem they are facing. They might not be knowing what is the problem, or or you show them how how you can uh, improve their business, and or you point out the problems they they actually have, and gain their trust. And after that, you pitch your coaching program. If you if you directly pitch them your coaching program, or if you directly uh, send them to a landing page where you are selling your coaching program, the probability of them taking the uh, coaching service is comparatively low. So I would suggest you go for a fifteen minute or thirty minute strategy call before that. So for that, I'll show you how to how to set up your calendar software in a, in a right way. I know like calendar is not a a uh, difficult software, anybody can uh, set up a calendar link. Like you just need a Google account. Uh, with a Google account, you can easily set up a calendar account. But I'll, there are a few things, few small things which makes a bigger impact when it comes to uh, asking people to sign up for a strategy call. Basically, it is a sales call. So, but you, you don't want to call it a sales call, you call it a uh, strategy session or um, consultation call. Okay, let me show you this. Okay, this is the software I was talking about. Uh, there's many alternatives, but I still prefer Calendly. Calendly works the best for me. And there is a free free version to start with. You can either opt in for a free 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 version. And if you want, if you really want to upgrade, you can upgrade it and it is ten dollar a month. It is totally worth it, I would say. But I'm still using the free version because I don't, I only use it for sales calls. Okay. okay, in the free version, you can only schedule one type of event. You can only get links to one type of event. And if you want to have another event, you will have to turn this event off first. Then only you can add another event. So that was there, but since I use it only for for the sales call, I don't need the uh, like premium version of that. Okay, let me let me show you what it is. And uh, yeah, in this scheduled events, you can you can tell all your events. Uh, these are the event types. Workflows. I don't use workflows. And there is an option to integration. So why? I use Calendly is because of the integration it provides. Uh, it provides with Zoom, so I use uh, Zoom for connecting with my prospects on Salesforce. So and it has got an amazing integration with Zoom. So basically, what happens is like when somebody create, if you have integrated Zoom with your Calendly, and if somebody booked a scheduled a call with you on a particular date, it it literally creates a Zoom meeting on that particular a date and time and it notifies them about the meeting from both Calendly and Zoom so the chance of they appearing uh, on the call is higher. You don't have to send them again or you don't have to use any other automations uh, to send the Zoom link and all. So this integration is pretty sweet. Let me show you how to create one. It's very straightforward. You can click on this create and event type. And then uh, they have added more. Uh, you can create one on one or group group invites, or there are so many other events now. But when I started, it was just one create. So this is what you need uh, one on one. You create one on one meeting. And then you give your event a name, a location. Location can be Zoom. Since I have already integrated Zoom, it will send them Zoom links. 
and then here you can add a description about it. Then location of room. Here, the, here comes the description about the meeting. Here you can tell them why you should why they should attend the meeting. Okay, what is the agenda? What will be discussed? You can you can you can discuss all those things like. Maybe if you are a if you are offering a SEO service, you can give a thirty minute SEO order and you can go through their uh website with them and list down these are the problems and these are to be sorted and we can sort it out. It is very easy. And you can choose the color of your choice and you click on next. Okay, so here you can you can tell them, okay. Uh, like in how many days in fact they can uh, schedule everything. I don't want them to schedule before a week or something. Uh, then you can mention your uh, schedule, like duration of the meeting. You can set existing schedulers. You can set custom hours. When do you want to attend? When do you want this to be available? Uh, there is buffer, buffer times before and after. Meeting. So if you have a meeting of 12, 12 to 12 30, and if you put a buffer time of 15 minutes before and after event, then nobody can book uh event from 11 45 to 12 and after 12 30. So that was the buffer time. If you want, you can mention that. And that's pretty much it. And and that is where people stop. Okay, now basically your event is ready, and you can, you can, you can literally send people to this particular event. Uh, okay. Oh, this is because I don't have a premium account. But what you should do is, there are a couple of things you can, you can do to improve your uh, sales rate. Uh, improve improve your meeting. This thing is called inviting questions. This is not mandatory, but I would strongly ask you to add inviting questions. This will prepare both of you, like both you and the prospect for the meeting better. So what is it like to uh, have somebody on call and you have no idea what he is doing. You have no idea what this guy is about. You have no idea what is his capacity. You have no idea uh, what he is looking for, what sort of problem he is looking for. If that is the case, uh, the chance of closing the sale is comparatively lower. So I have a set of questions which you can copy and you can copy this uh, up, up eight questions, I think. So, these are the questions you you also can include in your currently book in your currently questions. I work with coaches. If you if you do not know, you might be knowing, but I work with coaches uh, who have a decent budget. I do not work with uh, very beginners. Uh, okay. So these are the questions I have in my currently book. First question: You are on a WhatsApp number, so this is very helpful. Especially when somebody is signing up from India or somewhere uh, in a country like India, people doesn't care much about emails. Like they, they do not check their emails so often. So I collect their uh, phone number and WhatsApp number just to send reminders or pass to my sales team so they can follow up with them. So this is one question I ask. And then Second question, I want to understand more about their business. Like, where are they now? Are they starting out? Do they? Do I really want to work with them? Uh, so to understand this, I have my second question asking, please note down your current status as a coach or consultant. I work only, I, like I said, I work only with coaches and consultants and I do not work with absolute beginners. So here it goes, like, please note down your current status as a coach or consultant. And I have given options called, I don't have a coaching or consultation business, but I want to start one. I have a coaching or consultation business and I want to scale it to 10k plus a month in revenue. I'm not a coach consultant and I don't want to be one. So 
So if we have chosen the third option, I do not know what that thing. And if if we is on the first option, I might or might not work. Depends on depends on what he actually wants. And I'll I'll ask questions in the meeting to get more clarity on this part, what he actually wants to do. And if we opt for the second option, he's a perfect prospect for me. And I can literally talk about his business and I can ask him to show his business and our earning streams. Okay. And on the third question, what is the current situation with your personal information business? Please describe briefly. This is to understand their pain points or their dreams, what they want to do. Like this is this is to understand their their pain points. Maybe uh, it might be their leagues training out or they do not dry out or they do not have enough cash flow or their funds are leaking, they are investing so much on uh, different software, they do not have an automation in place or so they have to hire more and more people. So this is to understand their pain uh, point. Once I get answered to this particular question, I can exactly uh, ask questions and give solutions to their problem in the in the sales call and I can uh, I can get into that and I can I can get the sales. Okay. You understand this, right? What is your desired situation with your personal and suggestion business? Please describe briefly. I ask these questions to for two reasons. One to understand where he wants to go. So that uh, and this will help me. And second reason, I want I want to make sure this is a like practical result which I can offer if we have like impractical results, if he is opting for impractical numbers or, or something like that, then I can uh, make it clear in the call. If if I'm getting on the call, I can make it clear in the call. Okay, this is not something you can achieve now. This is what we can offer. I can, uh, this question is for these two reasons. One, one to understand him and one to understand whether he's the right fit for me, like whether I can give that kind of desired results. So on a scale of one to ten, how committed are you to investing into yourself right now? If you find it a good fit, this is to understand whether he is looking for a, a free stuff or he want to solve it in just the uh, discovery call or if he is really looking forward to work with. So do you have past experience with coaching programs? If yes, briefly describe the bad or good or bad experience. So when it comes to coaching or consult, like mostly coaching uh, programs, many people have very bad experiences and yeah, I would love to understand their experience in the past because most of the decisions they make on the call will be very much dependent on their past experiences. Like they might have lost money on some coaching programs. So this might affect uh, my sales also. So I would love to know the past experience so that I can uh, I can prepare for myself like I can I can prepare how we differ in that particular perspective and what is your Instagram handle this is to understand him better uh, to understand his social profile to understand the way he do his business just to have a brief idea so we'll study your business build strategies set up high conversion funnels connecting uh, connect you with closers and coach you on how to scale your business, what capital can you allocate in this situation for the program knowing if it does life changing. Okay, this is, this is to understand uh, his paying capacity basically. So it will be very different. Like if you are, if you have a client from India and if you have a client from abroad, you will you will get to know the difference. Like it will be very different and and if it is very low, like we can literally tell him like, okay, I, I do not work for, uh, like it is not possible to work on this budget and you will have at least this budget. You can tell, you can tell it openly. You don't have to uh, beat the bush around. So, so this is to understand his paying capacity. And these eight questions are very crucial for your business also. And you can literally copy these questions and ask literally the same questions or you can modify a little bit and ask similar questions in your currently link and most of the people when they create a currently account they they don't ask questions but uh, i would suggest you to add this and this will help you a lot when connecting with the with the lead uh, yeah that's it that's pretty much it and here you have option for notifications a lot and one more thing like if you are going for paid options the 
there is a uh, SMS notification also which will which will help uh, which will help you to have a higher open rate or higher attendance. So show up rate will be better if you have the if you if you upgrade your subscription I think. And there is an option to collect payments if you are charging any, but here since it's a sales code, we will not I'll not be charging anything for this. So so that way, like yeah. So that's pretty much about currently being and these three things which we built today is all you need to to build to to create a uh, create an amazing lead flow. Like you don't need much expensive softwares like they say. You might not need a funnel also in the very beginning. You these three things are pretty much enough to have a consistent lead flow and build your business and improve your sales. I'll show you how to drive traffic to these funnels, to these landing pages, or, or how to get more meetings, how to how to get more meetings uh, in, the, in the next session. Yeah, probably tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it. And see you tomorrow. See you on the day three. Bye.